All right, today we'll be talking about polymers. So what are polymers? Polymers are large molecules, or we know them as macromolecules, and they're made out of small repeating units that we call monomers. Alright, now there are two kinds of polymers you need to know, which is addition polymer and condensation polymer. So, addition polymer, my monomers are usually unsaturated. That means I have a carbon-carbon double bond. Next thing, my monomer and my polymer have the same empirical formula. And thirdly, it's usually made out of only one monomer. Now let's look at some examples. First one here we have ethene. All right, and the empirical formula here is CH2. What happens when it becomes a polymer? So the double bond opens up, and you get a polymer that you call polyethene. And here, the empirical formula is also CH2. Now, the next one is chloroethene. When it becomes a polymer, it looks something like this. We call it poly chloroethene or PVC. Last one here is propene. So the polymer is polypropene and it looks something like Now let's move on to condensation polymers. So condensation polymers, my monomers, are usually saturated. That means I have a carbon-carbon single bond. Next, my monomer and polymer have different empirical formula. And thirdly, it's usually made of more than one monomer, and my monomer have two functional groups. Alright, now let's look at uh, the first class, which is polyester. And the example here we look at is terylin. So these are the monomers. So what happens when it becomes a polymer? It looks something like this and water is lost. Next one here is a poly amide, and the example here we look at is nylon, right? As usual, uh, these are the monomers, and when it comes to polymer, it looks something like this.
all right and in a polyester the linkage here is an ester linkage and in a polyamide the linkage here is a amide linkage all right so those were the synthetic polymers that we looked at now we're going to look at some natural polymers All right, the first one here is proteins. Now, if you notice, proteins, they have two different functional groups in the monomer, All right, but they have the same linkage as an amide. And in condensation polymer, a small molecule such as water is always lost. Now, the last one here we look at is carbohydrate. The monomer is glucose. So when it becomes a polymer, water is lost as well. So the linkages here look something like this. And that's it for polymers.